The quickest and easiest way to kill the guardians and elder guardians near those ocean monuments. Hey guys, it's Chad. I'm starting up kind of a new series on specific mobs and how to eliminate them from your world. And we're starting off with the Guardian and the Elder Guardian. They're found, of course, around ocean monuments and they can be a pain to deal with because they are a harmful mob that is also in water. So those things kind of don't mix all that great. Can't wait until the ocean, uh, the uh, update aquatic, because maybe there'll be other harmful mobs in the oceans. But until then, this is really the only thing that can kill you other than the ocean itself. So no drowning in this episode. So let me jump into some of the techniques I use to kill guardians and elder guardians. So here we are inside of Minecraft. And uh, the first thing that we got to do before we kill a guardian is obviously uh finding the area down here the uh ocean monument so we're going to be fighting some guardians and then some elder guardians uh guardians are much simpler to kill they're those guys right there and the elder guardians are larger and they have 80 hearts of uh health so much more difficult so once you've found your ocean monument, the next thing you're going to need to do is equip up. And I'm just going to use iron equipment uh, for, for this episode. You could use... Di well, there we go with the mining fatigue. Um, you could use uh, diamond, of course. Uh, now, I've gotten the max enchants on all this stuff. You don't need the max enchants. But some of the enchants that are going to be most uh, useful to you are on your helmet, respiration, and aqua affinity. Uh, that will help you. Respiration will actually help you see underwater. So you can see if I put this right here in my slot and then place it on. There you go. You can see that there is quite a big difference between, uh, what you see with and what you see without respiration. Um, and also you can see my, uh, my, uh, what are those oxygen bubbles? Oxygen bubbles are going down a lot slower with respiration on and then aqua affinity will allow me to uh if i don't have mining fatigue uh to mine just as good as i can on the land right now i can't mine really anything because of this mining fatigue on me uh next uh just a chest plate no special enchants there some pants no special enchants there but on your shoes on your boots you should have depth strider three so here I'm going to hold this in my hand as I go walking and you can see it's very, very slow. It's a very, very slow process. But once I add my Depth Strider 3 boots on, so here we go, and you can see that I can move much, much faster. So those are the equipment that you're going to want. Next is uh, you could just have your normal uh, sword and, and bow some food and a shield but after that you're gonna start wanting to worry about your potions and there's three potions that i find very very helpful first is water breathing which will mean that your your oxygen bubbles will not go down at all while you're underwater next is speed two which will add to your movement speed with the depth strider this will actually allow you to swim faster then the guardian or the elder guardian, which is really, really nice. And then night vision to help out with seeing underwater. So let's go ahead and drink all of these. You can see that uh, that oxygen bubble just popped right there. But if we drink this, then that won't happen anymore. Next, let's do some swiftness. This will only last uh, for a minute and a half, so not very long. Next, we'll do night vision. And you can see uh, it's basically day underwater. All those fill with, uh, with, with water right after you drink them. So with those things, you can run up to these guardians and kill them. You can see this is their attack. It is a beam attack, which uh, starts off kind of blue and then moves into, into yellow. Uh, that range is about 15 blocks. And the only way to... Uh, to, to not see it, to not get hit by it, is to have solid blocks in front of you. You can't dodge it. You can't move faster than it and not get it. And it should uh, deal about a heart of damage. Um, I'm only getting hit with half a heart. Right after they fire, they will swim away. 
Now, you can see that guardians have these spikes on them, these spikes that are outward. Uh, and then after they do an attack and they swim away, the spikes kind of go into their body. Well, uh, these, oh, they, they kind of retract as they're moving. These spikes are actually, I didn't realize this, uh, that's what denotes whether or not thorns is on these, uh, these creatures. So, uh, they have that thorns protection whenever you attack one of these with the spikes out, you'll actually be getting, uh, well, it's kind of a little bit difficult. See, you, you, uh, also this is another behavior is, uh, they will start to swim away if they notice you nearby. Um, but if you hit them with the thorns out of their body, then you too will be hit with, be hit with thorns. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. So I hit him. Uh, maybe someone hit me from behind. I can't quite tell. Uh, but you should be hit with thorns whenever their uh, spikes are also out. Because they swim away, it makes melee a little bit difficult. And so you can hear, did you hear that? That was me getting hit with thorns. Um, it does make uh, swimming a little bit, or uh, killing them a little bit difficult because of how quickly they move away. But uh, it's not too, too difficult uh, to get in there and attack them. So that is definitely the best way to kill guardians, is to have all of that equipment. Try to hit them when their spikes are uh, inside and uh and you you should have a much better chance of not getting hit by by thorns and also with this speed um it allows me well i don't have the speed on right now uh you can see that it allows me to really easily get up close to them and i can swim actually faster than they can uh which is which is quite nice get in there i'm gonna about ready to get hit now once entering the monument you're going to search around for the elder guardians and uh, they tend to hang out uh, in a few different spots. Uh, right in the, at the top of the monument is one of the first spots. And then I tend to find them in the sides of the monument. So you have to navigate this maze in order to find them. Also, your shield can come in very, very, very handy. If they are locked on target, raising your shield will help to minimize that damage there. You can see that my hearts aren't moving at all whenever I'm getting hit by these rays of death. There we go. Here is one of these Elder Guardians just inside of this building here. Okay, I'm losing my speed here, but that's no big deal. Uh, so here are the Elder Guardians. They work uh, just about the same as uh, the other Guardians. And so not much is different here. And when you hit him with his spikes inside, you don't get that... Uh, that thorns but right now i'm hitting him with the the spikes out so i was getting those thorns and there you go he's dead uh very it's it's probably that's probably one of the simplest uh elder guardians i've ever had to kill and really uh i, I can you can tell a big difference uh between having speed and no speed whenever you are down here so you know this is no speed and then drinking that swiftness potion Oh my gosh, it just makes moving around so much easier. I hope that you found this episode useful and you can take this knowledge into your own gameplay. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Please leave a comment down below and please subscribe or follow the channel wherever you may be. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.